A lot of people have trouble putting water slide decals on models. In this video, I'll show you how I do it by applying the tobacco markings to a 43rd scale James Hunt McLaren. Alright, so we're going to uh, put the decals or decals on this uh, 143rd scale, uh, scale spark model. Now, when I'm doing my decals, these are the typical tools and uh, bits and pieces that I use. Um, firstly, of, uh, in no particular order, but uh, need something to cut the, or potentially need something to cut the decals with. Depending on the type of uh, decal you're using, uh, they might each each particular piece of decoration might be on its own carrier film and uh, you don't need to do any cutting other times the it might be just one sheet of film and you're going to need to cut the decals out so whether that be with some small scissors or a sharp hobby knife and also you might want to use a straight edge if you're doing uh, you know longer pieces for cutting those out um, setting softening and setting solutions now i've been using these this brand mr mark setter and the mr mark softener for years and these are really really good quite strong solutions the setter is simply helping the decal uh, adhere to the model and the softener softens the decal so that it can uh, get around tight corners and settle down into crevices uh, now with the mark setter the, this one here the clear solution. Um, this is very strong. A lot of decals, Tamiya decals for example, no problem at all. I have experienced dramas with some aftermarket decals with this one, uh, particularly from Pato's Place. So I'd recommend uh, just testing a piece first before you go using these too heavily. You can always dilute them of course, but probably a safer bet for a lot of people is the micro scale products. Uh, micro set, which is the setter that to make things adhere a bit more, which is the equivalent of the mark setter and the Microsol, which is the softener. Again, the equivalent of this one here, but uh, not quite as strong. And uh, so far, at least, I've never experienced any issues with this, but it's not as strong as what the Mark softener is, uh, as, far as, I'm, as far as my experience is concerned. Uh, also, you go through quite a few of these cotton buds, or Q-tips, as they're called in some countries. This particular one has got sort of a tapered end for rolling decals, rolling the water out from underneath them. And on the other end, it's a little bit of a wider um, shape. Helps for blotting and picking up uh, water. You will need some tweezers. Uh, there's various different sorts of tweezers around, but uh, to enable you to get the decals out of the water. That's not what I, I don't have here is a tub of warm water. Okay, you'll need that as well. Uh, but to get the decals out of the water, slide the backing off and that sort of thing, tweezers are going to help. You can also use tweezers to help position the decal on the model, but I tend to use a little bit more, just a wooden toothpick, uh, simply because the wood is a bit softer and less risk of damaging the decal. Uh, and it makes, just makes it easy to push it around the mo on the model, um, hopefully without tearing the, the decal. I also use a paintbrush um, to help move decals around and also to use to apply the microsol and microset and even to use uh, put a bit of water on to help dilute these um, so just a soft brush can help uh, position and help the decals settle down and um, coaxing it around curves and into crevices uh, really handy for that the larger brush, I use this in combination with a mare brush actually to uh, just blow the model off as far as getting dust and lint off it because if you put a decal over um, a piece of dust, it's going to get trapped underneath and you're going to notice it once it dries out. So try and get the model clean before you start. And then finally, some uh, I use some paper towel when I... Um, Put the decal in the water and soften it. I then just put the decal and its backing paper onto here. Uh, have this wet uh, just to keep the decal moist, and you can it sort of prolongs the working time, I guess, uh, and also handy for um, cleaning up uh, any spills. Okay, so that's what I use. It might not necessarily be what everyone else uses, but this works for me. So uh, let's go ahead and show you what to do uh, as far as putting the decals on this. Now, the 43rd scale. Spark models, the ones that have tobacco markings don't come with the tobacco markings uh, applied to the model. So if we can just get this out, these are sometimes quite tight in the uh, 
sleeve. I can pull that out. Um, that's what you always like to find underneath a spark model because that will be the naughty tobacco tackles. In this case, the uh, the Marlboro to go on. This is the James Hunt McLaren M23 uh, World Championship car. Uh, it's an early season version from the was it second place South African Grand Prix with the high air box. Uh, a few races into the season, the rules changed and all of the cars had to do away with their high air box. And uh, I can't remember the measurements, but there was a maximum height that they had to follow, which is quite ironic when you look at all of the Formula One cars from the last 20 years when they're back on high air box. But anyway, uh, these Marlboro decals need to go on this model. So let me show you how I do it. All right, so we've got the tub of warm water, uh, the model decals and the bits that we need. Now you need to know where these markings go and Spark uh, don't include the location for the markings. Uh, if you're building some sort of a kit, uh, they would normally be included, the positions would be included, but uh, these are not, not included with Spark. Now, when I've gone to look at some photo references, uh, Spark has actually missed a couple of the Marlboros because there should be some large ones on the side of the air intake, which is going to be um, these, these two here. Uh, this will be across the nose. This is for the rear, across the rear wing through here. And uh, there's supposed to be Marlboro on the rear wing end plates as well as on the sides of the cockpit and Spark has not provided those. This emblem goes at the front. They've gone to the bother of putting the little tiny, I don't know if you can see it there in white, Marlboro to go across the front of the crash helmet, which is basically unlegible to the naked eye, uh, but forgot some significant marking. So that's a pain in the ass. So anyway, we'll put what we've got on and uh, may be able to get some further aftermarket ones uh, somewhere else at some other stage. Now, if this was a kit, I'd normally be cutting out only the ones that I was applying at the time, but these are all going to go on at once. So what I'm going to do here, these have got an edging around the outside and if I put this in the water, that's on a film, it's going to come off and maybe get all uh, mixed up with the other stuff. So let me just go and carefully trim the edges off this black edge we don't need that maybe keep it some of this of these off cuts I keep just in case I needed to do some uh, some black pinstriping in this particular case might as well run around here as well that, that other, it's got some pinstriping we might use at some other stage anyway I'll discard that for the moment now with the spark decals the clear film um, each each marking is on its own separate piece of film, if I can get the light right there. And there's very little excess clear film around the uh, the marking. So there's no, I don't believe there's any need to go cutting around these. We'll just use the whole lot. All right, so it's uh, still warm. I'll drop that in the water. And uh, it curls up initially, but then it relaxes after a moment. And we'll just pull that out and uh, put them on the paper here and keep the paper moist as well. It's typically what I, uh, I like to do. And then we can start uh, applying them. Now this is going to be difficult with the camera in the way, but we'll see how we go. Oh, now, almost forgot. Put a bit of setter on the, uh, on the locations. I've already already uh, blown down and wiped down the model. Now these loosened up here. No, not quite. So the paper is saturated, but the adhesive, well, some of these are starting to move now. It takes a little moment for the adhesive to um, to dissolve enough for the markings to move. And we'll start moving a few things around here.
Now the spark decals, they go on really well. They're nice and glossy. Uh, the adhesive is good. They settle down well. Uh, they're very thin. So they go around curves quite good. Uh, and these have gone down really well with the decal on the, the molder on the front of the crash helmet here. I'll wait until this all dries off and then if need be put some um, some softener on it because uh, just looking at the naked eye it might not be settling down 100% because of the curve of the helmet so might put some softener on that a little later on. Um, so while the decals are good, quite disappointed with Spark because I think this one at the front is a little bit undersized compared to reference photos that you can easily find on the internet so that should be a little bit bigger and obviously they're missing uh, the ones for on the wing and plates now having said that this is why you always keep leftover decals from other builds i've got some tobacco markings here chitanes marlboro benson and hedges and these ones here happen to be about the right size for the wing end plate so I can't recall what these are off um, but they're going to get used up right now and that's one piece of film by the look of it so I'm going to have to cut the uh, each one out individually These are shit tickles.
film is curling up, the printing is coming off. Can't recall where I got them from. CPM is damaged. So those aftermarket Marlboros that have gone on the end plates of the rear wing are far inferior to the Spark brand decals uh, by a long way. Uh, the film was trying to curl up and the printing starting to come off, but uh, got them settled down and just touched up uh, with a little bit of black paint, so it doesn't look too bad. And in the display cabinet, it's, it's going to be fine. So there you go, James Hunt, world champion, 1976, uh, the McLaren M23 early season version, now correctly tobacco deckled. Cheers. So those aftermarket Marlboros that have gone on the end plates of the rear wing are far inferior to the Spark brand decals uh, by a long way. Uh, the film was trying to curl up and the printing starting to come off, but uh, got them settled down and just touched up uh, with a little bit of black paint, so it doesn't look too bad. And in the display cabinet, it's, it's going to be fine. So there you go, James Hunt, world champion. 1976, uh, the McLaren M23 early season version, now correctly tobacco deckled. Cheers.